What, if anything, are you doing uh, to help protect local uh, and you know, state uh, marijuana businesses from federal crackdown? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Representative Lee? I am. Oh, cool. I have a question or two for you. By all means. What, if anything, are you doing uh, to help protect local uh, and you know, state uh, marijuana businesses from federal crackdown? What am I doing to protect? What, if anything? Um, well, that really is in the hands of the Attorney General's office to uh, work with the federal folks on issues of federal enforcement and uh, they have tried to work out arrangements with the U.S. attorney in Denver. So uh, we have passed the laws and we believe Colorado has jurisdiction over those issues and um, as I say the, the uh, state officials have attempted to work with the uh, feds and we have been in contact with our local um, senators and representatives in Washington to try to get alternative legislation passed to uh, facilitate banking and some of the other issues. Um, and I think there have been bills submitted to the uh, federal legislature to remove marijuana from the Schedule One, but it's really up to Congress to make those decisions. Have so. you been relatively satisfied with the way the federals have reacted so far to the changes? Or do you feel like they're over-intruding? I would like them to take affirmative steps to recognize the state's sovereignty over these issues and not uh, leave us in a position of ambivalence the way we are. I think we need a higher level of certainty for the businesses in the state of Colorado. And so I'd like to see the feds take actions which would raise our level of comfort. To what extent would you like to see more uh, Colorado flexing its rights, you know, uh, under, under the 10th Amendment, or is it making you uncomfortable? What do you mean is it making well, me is uncomfortable? Well, the, the, the Colorado is flexing its rights. I mean, uh, it's unusual. It's kind of historic. Uh, uh, do you want to see that happen more or, oh, or less? It's wonderful to see. I like to see the states exercise their, their uh, rights and exercise, like I said, their sovereignty to make laws. The whole concept of federalism is to uh, allow states to engage in experiments in the social arena and uh, have some autonomy. And uh, Colorado has made those decisions and the feds ought to respect it. Are you low on time? I'm a little low on time. Okay, I'm going to let you go I'm, for now. <laughs> that's why I'm stepping from foot to foot because yeah. I've got to get set I, up inside. I appreciate your transparency, sure. Mr. Lee, and I guess we'll see you in there. Okay, and what's your right. role it's, in all of this? It's Dave Ridley. I'm like a poor man's TV station. <laughs> I'm actually based in New Hampshire. Well, come on in. Uh, but I, I grew come up here. Town hall. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it. i got coffee and donuts. We'll okay. share it with you. All right. Take care. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.